Hair rigging for carp is something that the specimen boys have been doing for years and it's progressed into match fishing. It's, uh, it's a method that's fantastic because the hook is left free all the time. There's no actual bait on the hook itself. The bait is on the hair below the actual hook. So you never or very rarely lose any fish because you always get a good hook hold. Now what I want to do is just talk you through tying up a hair rig. Now there's one little thing that I do struggle with all the time and that's when I tie a hair with just a straightforward loop on it like this. Because I've got quite big fingers, I really struggle. Once I've got the bait in place, whether it be meat or pellets or corn or whatever I've got on the hair, putting the actual boily stock, once the bait's in place, on the bottom of the hair, I really struggle with. It's, it's, it's a difficult task for me. I, I, I just find it too slow for match style fishing. So what I tend to do, I tend to use a hook with a, a stop on it like this, a push stop. It's just a Drennan plastic push stop. Now when this is in place you can push this through the soft baits or you can drill out baits and shove the actual stop through the bait, through a hard bait like pellets or boilies or whatever. So it's a great method but I just want to talk you through how to actually tie the stop on and also how to tie the hair rig itself. So I'll just put that to one side. Right, all I'm going to do, I've just selected a four pound suplex or 16 hook length and I'm just going to take off about two, two and a half foot of line. Now because I've bit that off, I'm just going to trim it up so that you've got a nice clean cut to the, to the line. Now taking a push stop, if you just twist the push, push stop off its holder, just chuck that to one side as well. It's got a, a small hole through the centre of it. All right, so if you just thread the line through the hole and pull about maybe three inch of line off so I can work. All right, so it's just doubled back. I can then tie the push stop in place and it's just a case of forming a loop over it like this. Now if you were to tie the knot tight up to the push stop what had happened the line would break so I want this to be in a loop so just using a Drennan needle I can just push or pull the line down to the actual stop. Once I've removed the needle, I can pull that tight, right, and what you can see now is that the actual push stops just inside a small loop, it's not actually tight up to the stop, so it can move around. Now once I've got that in place, I can then trim the line off below it. Let's throw that away. Right. So now, I want to fish with a piece of rubber on the actual shank of the hook and I'm just going to trim off about maybe two and a half, three millimetres of rubber. Now this is quite important to put this in place because when the bait's on the hair, you want the hook in line with the bait itself. So all I've done, I've just pulled down a piece of rubber down almost to the stop. Now through the winter time I've been using power hair riggers, Drennan power hair riggers for, for carp fishing. They're fantastic hooks, I've not lost a fish off these hooks all winter. They're a strange shape, they're a round bend shape and they're slightly flattered. But the eye of the hook is turned out, so you've got maximum gape of hook to actually hook the fish. They really have been good through the winter. So taking the hook in hand. Now you've got a, a little bit of a difficult task, is just to thread this rubber tubing onto the point of the hook. I probably should have done this off film and then I've got one I could just pick up. 
really struggling to get that through. Come on, that's it, got it. So once that hook then is placed in the rubber, I just shove the rubber round and up the shank very slightly. So then I can decide then, you can buy ready tied rigs, but the distance here depends on what bait you're going to use. And of course, when you buy a ready made rig, that distance is set, but you can set it to whatever bait you want to use. Now what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna set this up for an eight mil pellet. So you think about an eight mil pellet and then a gap of about four or five mil below. And that's what I'm gonna tie this as, a, a rig for pellets. Now going down the actual eye of the hook with the line, and then pull all the line through. Right, and then to tie the actual knotless knot, you just start off. The first lap over is a little bit difficult to get behind the eye of the hook, but then I'm gonna go around once, twice, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12 times down to the rubber. I can then with the forefinger hold the knot so I can pass the line back down again down through the eye all right so then you pull it all through again pull the knot tight and that is your push stop hair rig finished and you can see the the rubber below the actual knot is important because it always holds the line straight down to the push stop. So that's, that's tied now. So it's a simple case. All I do then, I put a loop on the end of it and put it into my rig bin. To actually mount the baits, it's just a case then of using a push stop pusher just to put it inside the actual push stop and then you can shove it through any soft baits or any drilled holes that you've drilled in baits to put the bait in place. Fantastic way of fishing for carp, brilliant. Mm -hmm.